Hello, this is Simple Pak Channel. Please help my channel and don't forget to subscribe. Now, we are talking about how Ferdinand Marcos Sr. served in Philippine military. Marcos, who had received ROTC training, was activated for service in the U.S. Armed Forces in the Philippines after the attack on Pearl Harbor. According to Marcos' account, he was released from prison by the Japanese on August 4, 1942, and U.S. military records show that he rejoined USAPIP forces in December 1944. Marcos' military service then formally ended with his discharge as a major in the 14th Infantry, U.S. Armed Forces, in the Philippines' Northern Luzon in May 1945. Controversies regarding Marcos' military service revolve around the reason for his release from the Japanese POW camp. His action between release from prison in August 1942 and return to the USAPIP in December 1944 is a post rank upon discharge from USAPIP and his claim to being the represent of numerous military decorations, most of which were proven to be fraudulent. Documents uncovered by the Washington Post in 1986 suggested Marcos' release in August 1942 was affected because his father, former congressman and provincial governor Mariano Marcos, had cooperated with the Japanese military authorities as publishes. After his release, Marcos claimed had spent much of the period between his August 1942, released his December 1944, returned to USAPIP as the leader of the guerrilla organization called Ang Maharlika, in English the Freeman in Northern Luzon. According to Marcos' claim, these forces had a strength of 9,000 men. His account of event was later cast into doubt after the United States military investigation exposed many of his claims as either false or inaccurate. Another controversy arose in 1947 when Marcos began signing communications with the rank of lieutenant colonel instead of major. This prompted U.S. officials to note that Marcos was only recognized as a major in the roster of the 14th Infantry Yusapim. NL as a 12 December 1944 to his date of discharge. This controversy arising from Marcos' service during World War II, however, would concern this claim during the 1962 senatorial campaign of being most decorated war hero of the Philippines. He claimed to have been the represent of 33 war medals and decoration including the Distinguished Service Cross and Medal of Honor. But researchers later found that his stories about the wartime exploit of Marcos were mostly propaganda, being inaccurate or untrue. Only two of supposed 33 awards, the Gold Cross and the Distinguished Service Star, were given during the war and both that been contested by Marcos' superiors. So no matter what, the important things here is Ferdinand Marcos Sr. once fight and served the Philippine military and a hero of our country. So that's all for now. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel.